Katie, what do you have for us campers today? Yeah, what's, teach what's, us, teach what's going us. on there? Well, first of all, I want you to know that to be a camp counselor, a craft camp counselor, you do not have to be an expert crafter. We have some simple and easy crafts here. And one of them is if you're lucky enough to be by the beach this summer, pick up those shells, bring them home, create paint with them, make little animals out of them. I have a lion, I have a butterfly, I have a snail. You can even put it on a piece of paper like this one here and create an underwater scene. And then you can have some fun with flowers. I so, love the uh, little unicorn. That's so cute. Oh, pretty. That's oh pretty, Kate. How about that? How about that? And all you do is get a wire, get some hot glue or use the wire and just kind of wind your... Um, your leaves or your flowers around your crown. And kids, girls love this craft. And then another fun one is to take the petals off a of flower and kind of create your own flower using buttons in the center. And then I just used a little tape to frame it so it looks like a professional little piece of art here. Wow. And then I am obsessed with quick drying clay. So I've just took a little bit of clay, put some petals down made a, and a little stone in the middle and made a little flower pot out of it. And then that will just air dry, which is quick and simple. And any age kid can do that. And then if you don't have paint brushes, but you want to paint or you want to make some stamps, a fun thing to do is take a flower head, pop it off, stick that flower head right in your paint. And then on a piece of paper or a piece of wood, just place that flower right there, put a little stem on it, put some leaves, and you've got a great little um, quick and easy craft that any kid can do. Wow, those are so you. great. And you know what's amazing is that I, the kids, like, they don't realize, my kids realize now because they're older, but I have every single craft they ever gave me, ever. Every single one. Yep. Because they were oh. so special. You are such a much better mother than I am. And it is. <laughs> I don't think that is not true. My so mad at me. No, I think it's, I think it's true. Because I'm not you a make, you've got so many, you make them. So it's, so it's fine. You can just make more happy memories. Ours are fleeting. I that's why Kelly is so gracious and kind. Thank you for turning my mishap parenting into something happy. <laughs> But really, craft your kids at camp. I mean, don't you remember when I went to camp, the craft room was so fun and so amazing. You could just go wild. So you don't have to have a big, huge craft room. Just go out mm -hmm. into Mother Nature. Let her be the camp counselor. Bring back leaves. Bring back flowers. Bring back stones. I love these leaf crafts here. There is, uh, you can do a self-portrait out of leaves. You can do a butterfly out of leaves. You can even take some uh, dragon, uh, some beads and some wire and make a little dragonfly using some leaves and the dragonfly. And I want you to look at my jewelry here because Harry Winston has nothing on me. This is a I necklace. Mean. <laughs> I mean, come on. And look at this. I expect to see this on the red carpet, my bracelet, next time with you, Miss Kelly. Um, you do look the, like, the, you look like um, Eve. Like, you look like you're in the Garden of Eden. It's really well, pretty. I, I believe if you're going to be a craft camp counselor, say that three times fast, you really have to look the part. All I need is a whistle. <laughs> like, on, and I'm good. Katie, stick around. We're going to do some more crafts when we come back, okay? Okay, you got it. Thanks. Hey, hey, welcome back with Katie Brown. She's showing us what we can do with the stuff we have lying around in our yard. What else do you have for our campers to make, Katie? Well, with some twigs and some rocks and a little bit of paint, you can easily make a tic-tac-toe game which you can put it, you can make it really giant in your yard, or you can make a little tiny one on a sidewalk, really fun. I also love to tell a story. So you can take a bunch of different stones and have them paint things like a boat, a Christmas tree, a house, and then they have to shake it up by saying, you know, one time I was in a house and uh, I saw a Christmas tree and I sailed away from it. And the stones tell a story. Another one of my favorites is to just create animals out of them. I love this, this centipede. I love this little frog that my daughter made. Or you can paint so some eyeballs, a nose, and a mouth on it and put together a little face. There's all kinds of fun things you can do by painting so and playing. With I love it. 
They're so great, Katie. There was a restaurant called Lucian's Old Tavern where I grew up, and they had a they had these little rock people, these painted rock people, on the way to the lavatory. And I used to stop and stare at them, hoping that one day, like, I would be able to uh, get one, never uh, realizing that I could just make one from rocks <laughs> in my backyard. You could make if you come to my camp. I think we should do camp together. Oh, we're going to Camp we're going Katie. To camp we Katie. really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Yes, we know you worked so hard on this, and we really appreciate you. Yeah. Don't forget yeah. to check Thank out Katie's you. book, too. Katie's book is Dare yep. to See, Discovering God in the Everyday. Available everywhere awesome. books are sold.